Now the warrior robots in disguise are in their own action-packed Transformer comic on sale now from Marvel Comics. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. What we'll do for the first couple of minutes or so is a very quick review, flicking it cover to cover, stopping at anything that's interesting. After that I'll come back to the beginning for you, zoom in for you and give you the opportunity to read the comic for yourself. As you can see we're up to issue 301, this originally came out around the 22nd of December 1990 and it cost 50 pence. Now I'm going to gloss over the first story, you're going to have the opportunity to read it in a second but this is because it's a reprint from a couple of hundred issues near enough ago already and it is the legacy of Unicron it is a great story it's got death said in it all the main characters um, and as I say I've already reviewed it but you can read it in a second then we've got an advert for shredded wheat and a Nintendo entertainment system loads of nostalgia there before we come to the new story now this is crazy to be honest it's basically just about the only word i can use to describe him is a maniacal galvatron the autobots are trying once again to save the earth galvatron is in is so i suppose crazed he even destroys he blows up cyclonus there at the end you can see that then jazz is there basically as a distraction whilst spike climbs the tower to put the american flag there because he does that it means that the humans call off the strike to blow up the entirety of new york because galvatron is just about to blow him up then hook line and sinker who first appeared in issue 294 appear out of nowhere and capture galvatron and take him away and that's pretty much about it we've got the letters pages here now and then we've also got the advert for the annuals, of course, came out towards Christmas time. And then the final story in the back is G.I. Joe, the Action Force, which again, I'm going to gloss over exactly as I did when I was a child. We've got the advert for next week there. And on the back, we've got an advert for yet more G.I. Joe figures like so. Right, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. You may want to slow the speed down to 0.5. You probably do want to mute the sound so you haven't got a background noise. But here's your opportunity to read the comic for yourselves. And the B story. And this concludes issue two and 301 rather, next issue in a couple of days.